Yeah, not my proudest moment, but... Hey, what can you do, right? <laughs> Yeah, um, like I said, uh, the Warframes, the Space Ninjas are pretty, you know, agile and everything. Even though I'm a big, heavy rhino, I'm still pretty agile. Oh, nice. I'm still trying to find you guys. Warning, heavy grenier approaching. <laughs> Warning, heavy grenier approaching. Yeah, I kind of already knew about the grenier. My friend just told me, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm getting close to you guys. In fact, I am. I'm right here. One, two... <laughs> Actually, in a sense, all Warframes are pretty agile equally. It's all dependent on the player. I completely bypassed him. Whoops. Um, would that make rhinos OP? Uh, I guess you could say that. Alright, you get him off kill. Because I still need, uh, just a couple more melee kills. And got him. Still no door. No, nah, it's okay, Piggle. I mean, if you got questions, go ahead and ask them, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. I found the door. Decaying. Okay, I turn around and I see a rocket heading straight for my face. Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry. Right over here. Yeah, I understand, Piggle. I, I like to learn about games, too. I think all gamers do. <laughs> We're all over here waiting for you. There are two left. <sighs> okay, next time I will have a key with me. We're just lucky it was your key. I'll stay over by the door since there's only two left. Alright, go ahead. I'll stay over by the door, just in case the waypoint disappears. Which actually it just did. <laughs> yes it is. This this dog here, this is a Kubro. She's my pet. Other than you, Her name is Sasha. Let's get out of here. This type of Kubro is called a Sahasa, and it actually is a forager, basically. She uh, digs uh, for resources and credits. Nice. Now, how come I get bounced back, but you don't? You'll need to extract before we can verify its function. Looks like some corrupted stay behind to guard the artifact. 
It must be valuable. Actually, that is her maximum health right now. Her maximum health right now is 811. Uh, when she gets to the max level, which is 30, it'll be a little higher. And depending on the mod I choose to use on her, then her health will be even higher than what it is now. Credits can be used by, um... Hey, you want to... Uh, uh, credits can be used uh, to buy blueprints for Warframes, not the Warframes themselves. There are two different types of currency. The in-game currency that you can uh, get like from missions like this are credits. The other in-game cr uh, currency is uh, platinum, which you have to buy with real money. There we go. Another job well executed. Actually, I think you're right. Vile precision? What is this? Minus 10% weapon recoil, minus 6% fire rate. So it's completely screwing us over, basically. <laughs> well, this is true. Yeah, yeah. That That's the only thing that's good. Okay, I'm, I'm being stupid here. Right. And all corrupted mods, I guess, have one good thing, one bad thing, correct? Ah. Uh, what modifications do I have on my Kubro? Um, I can't even remember now. I'd have to look, so let me look. I have... Maul, which is a rank 2 mod right now. It gives me a plus 90% melee damage. I have an unranked bite. Oh, that was it? Oh, cool. I have an unranked bite, uh, which gives a plus 30% critical chance and plus 20% critical damage. Unranked ferocity, which allows my Kubro to use finisher attacks on an enemy, uh, plus 20% finisher damage. Pack leader, it's a lifesteal link, which means... The more melee damage I do, the more my Kubra's health gets healed. And that's a 6% unranked. Loyal Companion unranked is a 15% uh, bleed out link, which means that she takes a little longer to bleed out depending on the rank of that mod. And whatever mods work bleed out rank, uh, time increases hers as well. Uh, sa uh, same with, like, uh, Link Health. Uh, 15% uh, Health Link. She gets uh, a bit of a boost in her health, and it actually links her health with mine, so she's taking from my health as well. So, she's actually, if I max that out, and I get more health, her health will actually be higher than what mine is. And then I have a maxed out dig, which is a plus 270% success chance of finding objects uh, like credits or um, health orbs, uh, energy orbs, you know, things like that. Okay, so I can build the uh, hidden messages, which I do, and apparently it takes six hours. If I had 15 platinum, I could, you know, speed that up, but oh well. Okay. Right, right. At around 5 in the morning, that's when it'll be ready. Um, Kubros you get from Kubro eggs, which the Kubro eggs you find in Kubro dens on Earth. In, in certain missions, yeah, I should have said that to begin with. <laughs> uh, I'm still new to giving out information, this is so different for me. Alright, what do we got? Oh, hold up. Uh, 
Is this the future? Uh, actually, technically, yeah. This actually uh, has ties with uh, the game Dark Sector. I don't know if you've heard of that game, but this takes place like, what, 2,000 years after the events of Dark Sector. check on my uh, extractors actually <laughs> 50 minutes for both extractors yep operator I run diagnostic regressions all systems nominal you don't need to thank me oh good lord The loyalty of my Kubro, Raven. She deals 20% more damage. Her damage is getting lower. Eventually, she won't be able to do too much at all. And then again, I want my other Kubro, not her anymore. I don't know why. <laughs> Does that mean that I want to get rid of her in place of my other Kubra? <laughs> Alright, I have... how much cash do I even have? Oh... How do you increase her damage? Oh, that's easy. All you gotta do is uh, interact with her. There's, you get three interactions each day. I've already used up all three of my interactions for the day, so... Uh, but they get refilled every time you get your login reward, which uh, is at... Well, for me, it's 8 p.m. I was just about to say that. Uh, for, me, <laughs> for me, it's 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, so yeah, that's the only way you can get your interactions back with, uh, is with, uh, your login reward session. I wanted something. Good lord, I have 26 items in my foundry. Uh, actually, Piggle, the game is free. This is one of those free-to-play games. You don't have to pay for anything. Yeah, that's the beauty of a, of a game like this. It's free to play. It's very fun. You you can get pretty much everything in the game without even have to having to pay for anything. I mean, with real money. <laughs> yeah, that's about the only thing it costs is time. Yeah. And I just noticed my sentinel is missing. <laughs> 